thank you so much for this interview. I have to say that I really loved, uh, I really love horror movies, but this one with all this uh, humor and violence, I must admit, it was really, really great. But let me uh, uh, say that your plays are really, really cool. So I bet it was really fun to be in this movie. So what was the funniest part for you? I think the most fun part was how hands-on the whole process was. I mean, Celeste and I, you know, we, of course we had some stunt people, but we really did a lot of our own stunts and we choreographed that fight. And, you know, it's, it was amazing to get so kind of down and dirty with a lot of the movement and the physicality of it. So that was really fun for me. The most fun part for me was just kind of like, just coming to work and being with the people that we were with, because I think that I, like, I couldn't imagine doing this with anyone else. And we all, we all just became so close and we all became really good friends and we still are friends to this day just from that experience of of doing all these crazy things outside of our comfort zone and trying new things and improvising and so I think that whole process and and doing with it with the people that I was with was really the most fun. Perfect. And also what I think is that this movie is really adapted to these days. I mean, the use of uh, technology to check, I mean, this magical artifact, checking it in the news on the internet, it was really fun because uh, before you should uh, usually go with an archaeologist or something like that. So how do you think um, horror movies have evolved until now? I, I, I think they, horror, horror films are always a reflection of where society is at right now, right? I think horror and being scared is something so innate in human nature. So even you see like films like Cam, where there's like a, there's a, 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 the evil comes from like your computer and your phone and the screen. And I actually really appreciate that horror tends to adapt so quickly because it's about scaring society at current. It's or even like Black Mirror. It's about, you know, turning the, turning the, the face back to society. And so I, I think horror is one of the most adaptable genres for that reason. It's always about societal life and societal issues. Exactly, exactly. It has to do with like, what is scary right now? Like right now, what will scare people? And I think you're exactly right, Misha, that it does have to adapt because the things that we find scary and the things that can scare us are always changing because our society is always changing. Perfect. And also what I think is that um, your characters are perfect. I mean, if I had some situation with a magical artifact and some horrors murder, I would really love to have some best friends like your characters to help me out of this one. So um, what was uh, the thing that you loved the most about your characters and the biggest differences you had with them? I, for my character, I love that Josh is so unapologetically queer and proud and gay. And that's something that I, I very much identify with as well as a queer non-binary performer. I think it's amazing that Josh is a character written to be so, again, unapologetically queer. It's about the story. It's about the mission. It's not about him being queer. That's just a given. Um, but I will say that Josh and I don't share style senses. Josh is very kind of retro chic with denim and, you know, big, bold colors. As you can see, my favorite color is this one right here. So <laughs> very different. I, I love Nyla's sense of style. I love her, like, her, like, overalls with the print. I love prints. Um, but I think, I think I, I really identified with her, like her determination. I think, I think that if I was in this situation, I would absolutely be like, all right, guys, let's all focus here. Let's create a plan and let's get this done and solve this problem. I think that we're maybe a little bit different in that like, she is like very grounded and she's like, okay, like we can address this. We can do this. I think, it, I think I would, probably be a little more dramatic. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much guys for this interview and congratulations. I think it's the perfect Halloween movie that we need, that we need right now. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, ciao. ciao.